Is it really smart to have my face between two dogs who have been trying to kill each other? Probably not, but I'm hoping it will make them realize that everything's okay. I love both of you. Don't make me kill you before you kill each other. They don't fight in front of me. They only fight when I leave the house. So I think they know I'm the alpha, but I think they're trying to um, take second spot, which is actually his. So they must be trying to take third spot because they don't challenge him. Just now when I turned this camera off them for a second, they kind of started getting stupid. Oh, you love her, huh? You guys are best friends. Why would you fight? Ain't no reason for fight. You guys have lived together all these years and you ain't never fought. Ain't nothing different. Thing on Kenya has opened back up a little bit. I think she's kicking it. There she goes scratching at her face, but that's the other side. She's always been kind of a a picky, scratchy, licky kind of dog. You know, right now, even she's kind of rubbing it on the sheets and stuff. I might have to go buy her a cone. I don't know. Can you see how it's opened back up a little bit here? It's actually, it's opened up kind of good. I mean, it's, it's still a hell of a lot better than it was. I haven't put any of that gel on it for a while. I might do that later. Um, but yeah, so I don't know. I don't know. These girls are a pain in the ass, but I love them. <laughs> okay, guys, just a quick update on the dog situation. That little scab there is all that's left of that huge wound that she had. Everything healed up really awesome um, using that vetricide, vetricillin. I think I showed it in the video. I know I put it on my Facebook. Um, she doesn't want to sit still, of course, but everything healed up really good. Uh, and of course, antibiotics. They still, they've been getting along pretty well, but they're still having little bits of issues with each other. So what I've been doing, excuse the mess on the floor, so I've got one of these cages here that folds up, um, uh, it takes up way too much room in here and it blocks the food dish which could cause a problem but they can't fight through it and that's the most important thing um she doesn't really like being in it the cat loves to sit on top of it i'm worried she's going to attack his feet even though she loves the cat just because she's pissed that she's in here but she's getting a lot better about being in here i hardly ever have to put her in but i've got to go do something right now that that she can't come with me so i can't have the girls fighting and I put her in this cage. This cage folds up um, into a, a fairly small package. So it is possible to keep one in your RV without having it constantly take up all this room. And it's pretty well put together. She hasn't been able to do anything to, um, to push it open or try to squeeze out of it or nothing. And she's getting, you know, her, her breed, most people who actually hunt these dogs, make them spend a, 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 quite quite a lot of their time in cages like this or kennels. Um, she rarely has to do it, but if she's going to fight with my other dog, then I don't really have a lot of choice. She's going to have to spend some time in the cage when I have to do things. Do whatever you want. Don't let anyone tell you you can't, and do what it takes to make things work. So this is what it looks like when it's all folded up. It really doesn't take that much room. It's not easy for me to hold up, but I, I can hold it up. Of course, the bottom's dirty, but the profile, it's not very big at all. I don't generally film my house when it's this um, cluttered, but Artie's been sleeping like this on the top of that chair the last few days. I keep meaning to get a video of it, and I keep forgetting that's his new spot. Hey, Artie! <laughs> Did I wake you up? Do you like it up there? Is it comfortable? Are you keeping one eye shut so that you only wake up halfway? 
Okay, you can go back to sleep. I'm sorry.